Okay, today I wanted to do a quick little unboxing of Leaf Filter. I've been waiting on this for a while and wanted to give a shout out to Leaf Filters. One, for being able to deliver uh, in the shortage, uh, supply chain shortage we have going on today. I've had this on order since I think it was April. Uh, finally come in, so hooray for Leaf Filters for finally being able to get it out and get it across the big pond. Um, in case you don't know what filters are used for, they're used for long exposure, um, and I'm sure there's other uses, but for my use, it's it's all about the long exposure and being able to get some great long exposure photos. So, with that being said, let's, uh, let's come in just a regular uh, mail envelope, and I took it out because I had some other stuff in it as well, and I'll do an unboxing on that article later. But, let's see if we can get it out of plastic here. Well, it helps if we take it out the sleeve, I guess. Well, there's all the paperwork you need, I guess. Nice little tin. I like that. My other filters are in, you know, little belt clip, Velcro kind of things, and these aren't, you know, the most expensive item in the world when you're shopping photography gear. But, uh, you know, at 100 200 bucks a pop, they get pricey after a while when you break them. So, hopefully we can do this without breaking them. Nice box, well insulated. I will try to save the paper here so it helps keep them clean when you're storing them. But the super stopper. I'm looking quickly for scissors to cut this. It doesn't appear that I have any. But it tears, it's just paper. All right. And for those that have never seen these before or know how. Okay, stop. Got to make a couple uh, corrections here that you're about to see. As I roll the image or I roll the lens over, there's a gasket. That gasket um, is something new, so I did not understand what it was. Uh, it's actually there to separate the light between the filters when you're using multiple stack filters and it sits just inside of the slide for the filter holder uh, when it's on the lens so just thought I'd put that in there uh, so you'd understand what you were seeing thanks what they're for this is set up for my 150 uh, I'm sorry it's 150 by 150. It's for the Tamron uh, 1530 lens. And this is the mounting adapter. And you mount this onto your lens. And then this should slide right over the front. Like so. And I'm going to put this on the second layer versus the first one because I got to check this out later should line it up slides right on it's a little tight fit it's supposed to be and this way you shoot this mounts to the glass like so and you shoot through the darkness and if you see I'm going to hold this right up you can see through it a little bit, um, but it's uh, pretty dark under there. It's a big shade tree. Um, matter of fact, my hand, what you're seeing is a reflection. You're not even seeing through the deal. So that tells you how dark it is. See the soft box over there. It's just nothingness. Um, 
this is a 10 stop or I'm sorry 15 stop so this is I think is probably as dark as they go the other one I have is a 10 stop is why I said that so this is gonna be fun I'm gonna take it out today and do some shooting with it and we'll post some pictures on another uh, episode so if you have interest in this uh, give us a like give us a follow down below and uh, we'll be happy to share those photos and let you see how it works in the field. Thanks and have a great day.